here, here's where I'm at today. Uh, my dad's been in the hospital since October the 11th. He has cancer that has metastasized to the bone. He's in a hospital close to an hour and a half from home. I'm still trying to juggle this whole entire house and my monkeys and, you know, be a wife, be a good mom, continue on my diet, drive to the hospital every day to take care of my dad, to help take care of my dad, and decide what we're doing when he gets discharged. And last night, the toilet was leaking. We shut the water off. And this morning I wake up and I hear Gary was going to deal with it today. I walk through the house and I hear water in that bathroom. I was like, what's going on? Why did I say when I woke up? Maverick was up all night. Two nights this week. Tuesday night and last night. Up all night. He wouldn't be a mean. He was, he was in a great mood. He was in a great mood. He just wouldn't go to bed. So at 7 o'clock this morning when he decided he was going to crawl in my bed... And give it up is when I got up. Well, I laid down with him. And then, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm tired. Anyway, come to the house. I hear that water in that, in, behind that door. I open that door and holy sewer water. The water just comes out of that bathroom. Just soaks my feet. The smell. I said, well, we got some problem here. <laughs> That's a poopy one, too. <laughs> I didn't say poopy, though. No, I did not. <laughs> I'm trying to be a good Christian woman. <laughs> Go in there and I tell Gary. I said, dear, you need to get up. <laughs> I said, the downstairs is flooded with sewer water. It smells really bad. And he was like, I never seen Gary get up, get dressed so fast in all his life. And he takes off to Lowe's. I'm like, why are you going to Lowe's? He's like, I got a plan. I was like, we need to call like a roto rooter. And he's like, I ain't never done nothing like that before. I fix my own stuff. I said, okay. Bye-bye. Be careful. As soon as he walked out that door, what's one out to do? It wasn't roto rooter though. It was a local place. I'm like, buddy, I got a problem. But you know what? That's probably what everybody says when they call him. They got a problem. I mean, why would you call a septic sucking place if you didn't have a problem? He's like, what's up? And I was like, downstairs flood with sewer water. Toilets won't flush. And he's like, I can get to you Monday. I said, well, that's all, the best you got. That, that's all you got. I thought I'll load this crew up and we'll go stay in a hotel. I guess. Monday's good. And he, he said, is it uncovered? And I said, yeah. I said, my husband uncovered it last night. And he said he'd deal with it today. I said, but now the wife's calling. I said, you know, you know, you know what I mean? The wife, the wife has now got involved. He's like, I think I can fit you in this evening. Good choice, buddy. Good choice. It's like, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. So in the meantime, I've been sucking sewer water up with my carpet shampoo or thank god it's a cheap one i just got it to do some area rugs because that thing's probably going in the trash i'm gonna try to run some bleach through it when all this is over and see if i can get the smell out if not it's okay bomb looks like it went off in my kitchen so i'm too tired to drive to the hospital right now i need to shower i can't shower because you know what's going on here and so i thought what should i do in the meantime so i'm pretty sure i taught britney spears um incident where she shaved her head. I'm not shaving my head. I'm not that crazy yet. Sorry, Brittany. I love you, but I ain't, sh I ain't shaving my head. I ain't saying I ain't going to, but I ain't today. So I started painting my kitchen black and, and I'm baking a cake, baking some little cakes over here. So I think this is it. I think I've arrived. I think this is what Looney Town looks like and feels like. I really do. This is it. I'm here. I have arrived. I don't have an ankle bracelet on yet, and they don't have my name tag on my wrist yet, but I'm pretty sure that this is all just some big, vivid nightmare that really didn't happen, and surely to goodness we're going to have group therapy sometime soon. I hope there's cookies and punch, is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. My daddy's terminally ill. My house is flooded with shit. My kids stayed up all night. I'm tired as a mother, and I'm painting my kitchen black and baking a cake. Yeah, sounds good. Everything's everything's on track, guys. Everything.